this video is a hot plate with with copper and I'm heating up very very carefully and right now it's Three hundred seventy-five, so it's not quite four hundred. Very pretty results. But before I do this, I'm going to turn on this powerful light, so you can see it more effectively. It's brighter now, better quality of images. That so. We turn down the hot plate to a, a little bit less temperature and this is a piece of copper at 20 degrees. A little bit hard to work with but it's manageable. Do remember this is very 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 hot. See right there it's starting to, you need to be quick of it because this is a very thin piece of copper. Look how pretty that becomes when it's annealing. And the beauty of this is you don't need propane. Do remember this is it's the metal is quite hot. You need to find a place to put it. This is copper. I'm wearing tongs, protective tongs. Don't wear gloves because if the gloves get in contact with this kind of heat, it can cause the gloves to, cut, to catch fire and they're bursting the flames. You suffer a third degree burn. So never wear gloves when operating a hot plate with uh, that's a good safety feature to do. This you can burn yourself. This is a lot safer than using propane. And it's very thin. Therefore, the thin amount of copper caught you can you can do this with brass and other stuff, probably iron, because temperature is enough to temperature temperature of the hot plate is enough to cause this to be effective. She's very beautiful, but hard, kind of hard to work with. The temperature of the hot plate. Five hundred and forty seven degrees Celsius. Very hot. So I'm going to take this tong here and just try. This is without using propane, which is quite a good, a good thing to do. Now, for safety, we turn off the hot plate. A hot plate is a lot easier to work with 
in propane. It doesn't require fuel. If you have safety, it would be no issue. This is a good method of, of metallurgy. Heating up metal to about 550 degrees Celsius. Thanks for watching, Jane.